Hi dear students, I welcome you all back to the session. So in the previous session you learnt about functional and non-functional testing and also system testing. Why we have to do the system testing. So in today's class we will learn functional testing in detail. So functional testing is performed at different phases and is focused on the product level features. So a functional testing is performed at various testing phases. So there are obviously there are problems okay so there are two problems which occur in this is duplication and the other one is gray area so let us see what is duplication so it basically refers to the same testing which is performed in different times okay a small percentage of duplication across the phases is sometime unavoidable because different teams are involved in it okay so what is a gray area so it basically refers to certain tests being missed out in all the phases so gray area in testing happens due to lack of product knowledge okay so lack of product knowledge of customer usage and lack of coordination across the test teams so such gray areas in testing makes defects sweep over and impact throughout the uh, area and then so this this is the one of the reason for such gray areas so let us see there are multiple ways which uh, system functional testing is performed some of the common techniques are as follows design architecture verification business vertical testing deployment testing beta testing and certification standards and testing for compliance so let us see these one by one what is design and architecture verification so in this method so this is basically a functional testing method so in this the test cases are developed and checked against the design and architectures to use whether the there are actual product level test cases so what happens whenever you define your design and architecture you go and test these test cases and then perform the testing so business vertical testing so this is general purpose product like workflow automation systems and can be used by different businesses and services so using and testing the product for different business verticals such as insurance banking asset management and so on verifying the business operation and usage is called as business vertical testing so your application will be developed on many different different verticals so according to the standards of different verticals you have to perform the testing so this is business vertical testing move on to the next slide deployment testing so this is a type of deployment testing so what happens so once you deploy the product in the customer's environment so uh, that happens that in a product deployment uh, company so to ensure that the customer deployment requirements are met and are is called as an offset deployment next one is beta testing so sending the product that is under test to the customers and receiving the feedback is called as a beta testing so uh, the developed product you give it to the customer for the beta testing and you ask them the feedbacks what are the changes to be done and how the system is working so this testing is performed by the customer and helped by the product development organization next one is certification standards and testing for compliance so once you develop your application so it should meet the some standards right and you should also have some certifications and you also test it for the compliance so a product needs to be certified with popular hardware operating system and database and other infrastructure pieces it is called as a certification testing so testing the product to 
ensure that the standards are properly implemented is called as a so, uh, testing for the standards so as i've told you you your application should have some standards in it or you have to use some standard products or so, some standard components into the application while developing compliance testing is the product for contra contractual legal and statutory compliance is one of the critical activities of the system testing team so once you develop all the application so you it should also meet the contractual legal and statutory compliances so you need to have all these testing in the test test applications thank you students